Hi, everybody, and welcome inside the gym at Clements High School in beautiful Sugarland, Texas. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. So glad to have you with us. And we're about to bring you a volleyball match between the Pasadena Adobe Longhorns and your Clements Rangers, who are doing an awesome job this year. They really have a lot going for them, and they are 20 and 4. And according to one poll, they are ranked number one. No, I'm sorry, that was got a little ahead of myself. They are ranked number three in the state, according to the Texas Girls Coaches Association poll. And that is really, really amazing. Now, there's another poll. It's the Volleyball Insiders poll, and they don't rank them at all. Now, I hope that you can hear us if you are listening live. If you're listening on the podcast, then I'm sure that you have, you're hearing us soon enough. No question about that. All right, I want to thank Maggie Myers. She is a varsity player for Clements, and she made sure I had a chair to sit in. But if I were standing, you know, that would be the least of my worries. We're having all kinds of technical issues, but we're fighting through them so that we can bring you Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. Suna Venkat is inside the mothership at Vibe World headquarters along with Rosie Bega. They are tinkering with things. They are trying to make sure everything works like it's, like it's supposed to work. But every once in a while, we have a problem when we go into a building where we haven't broadcasted for a while. We've done a lot of Clements basketball games over here, but tonight it's volleyball. And I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you've been in the radio biz or whatever, but I am tap dancing right now. All right, now I can turn the little sound player thing up because I had to wait for the long song to end, you know, our little introduction song. Okay, so the two teams have been introduced. They are out on the floor. Clements is on the near end of the court, which, uh, court, which would be, I believe, the north end of the gym here at Clements, taking on the Pasadena Doby Longhorns. And we'll see if we can identify as many Rangers girls as possible before they start moving around. Samara Parahar is the middle hitter, in fact, the outside hitter. And there is another outside hitter, and that is Samantha Van. And she hits it square in the corner for a kill on the very first play of this match. It is one to nothing Rangers. It's a best three out of five. You've got Bella Casal. She is at the baseline and receiving the ball. She will serve right now. You got Maggie Myers. I already mentioned her because she really saved my bacon and gave me a chance to sit down. All right, there's another point for Clements. It is a service winner for Casal. The libero is Emma Levy. She's wearing the white jersey, everybody else wearing navy blue. Now there is a two to nothing score and a serve by Clements. Bumped up by Levy. Now there's a big swing and it's gonna be a point for the Rangers. Samara Parahar got all of that when hitting from the middle and banging it down. Doby did manage to dig it just a little bit, but they hit it up on the rafters and then it went over to the Clement side, so that's automatically a point against Doby. Three to nothing. Bella Casal serves. Doby bumps it up, battle at the net, comes back over to Clements. Now there's a setup. And Van taps one over, can't exactly spike it, and it ends up being a winner. Alyssa Gorey for Doby kept it alive there for just a moment. But eventually it was a Clements point. And Bella Casal ready to serve again. There goes her serve with a lot of top spin. She hit it deep. Little quick set. Clements is ready for it. Swing by Van, goes to the opposite corner but Doby is gonna be able to send it back. They dink it over the blockage, and now a set up, and there's a winner for Doby as they block Barahar. That is Adelie Garcia leads the team in blocks with 35 in this her senior year. Four to one, Doby trailing and now serving. They're wearing the black jersey tops and black shorts with the burnt orange because they are the Longhorns. Hope Ortiz. Serves and got a good bounce. It hit the top of the net and crawled over. Point to the Doby Longhorns. 
Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School. Here's another serve for Hope Ortiz. Now a setup for Van. She gets on top of it and gets the spike down. Gets it right over the outstretched arms of Adelie Garcia. And Clements leads it 5-2. And now they will serve again. Samantha Van in the middle of the baseline. Spins it. Runs up toward the baseline. Gets some air under her as she swats the ball. And now it is Doby hitting one long. That was their leader in kills, Juliana Aguirre. And she hit it long. That makes it 6-2. to two. Clements on top. Clements won't play its first district match until September 13th when they meet the Bush Broncos. There's a service winner for Van. Makes it 7-2. to two. And then it's going to be really revealing when Clements and Ridgepoint play each other. I don't think Clements has tested Ridgepoint like they're going to this year. Van serves, and she had that one going down, but threw the sinker into the net. Didn't miss by much. It was not an egregious miss. And if you're a Clements student, Clements grad, Clements parent, you know what a word like egregious means. I don't know why, but it's just one of my favorite words of all. All right, Clements receiving serve. Big swing, Maggie Myers. And it's a winner for Maggie Myers of Clements, making it eight to three. Parahar comes off the floor, and she's replaced by number 22, Maggie Duval. And the libero, Emma Levy, is gonna serve. Right-hander keeps her feet on the floor. No spin on that, and it's a knuckleball that fooled the recipient, Juliana Aguirre. She couldn't do anything with it, unfortunately, for Pasadena Doby. 9-3, Clements with its biggest lead. Levy serves. Doby is going to be able to send it back, but there is a block, and it's a block for Maggie Duvall that yields a point for the Clements Rangers, who now lead 10-3. They are off to a very, very, very fast start. Emma Levy raises her arm, now fires it. Good top spin. Doby is going to send it back. There's a little flick of the wrist, but Clements is there to receive it. And Duvall tries to get one down. Doby there with the defense. They send it back over. And a bump up to right in the middle of the net. Maggie Myers could not get on top of that one. Had to do it gently. And now there's a hot spike coming in, but Clements keeps it off the floor. And Maggie Myers off fingertips at the net. Doby playing good defense now. Dug out by Levy. Quick set, does not fool Doby. They are attacking again. And they almost find an open spot on the floor. A nice dig that sends it over the net for Clements. Now there is another setup for the Rangers. And Myers gets the winner off the hand of Jordan Johnson. She is the tallest player for Doby. 11 to three, Clements leading. We are sorry we weren't able to bring you a countdown to first serve show, but these scheduled 5.30 starts, I guess I should just be counting myself lucky. This one really didn't get started until about 5.50. Doby hits one long, and the Rangers are truly on a roll. It is 12-3. Dawn Sexton is the head coach of Doby, and I wonder, will she call a timeout anytime soon? Emma Levy sends it over. We get a whistle. And it's a point to Clements. I think the alignment of players was illegal by Doby, and that's why it's 13 to three Rangers. Rangers put it in play. There's a swing and a miss by Jordan Johnson. She hit it into the net, but you know if she hadn't, I think Maggie Duvall was going to send it right back at her anyway. Service run continues for Emma Levy, 14 to three, Rangers lead it. No spin on the serve, hard for Doby to handle, but they do send it back over. And a nice dig there by Levy. Now it's sent back to Myers who fires away, but she gets blocked. That is Kyler Joseph of Doby, who earns a point for the Longhorns.
By the way, one of the reasons the Lady Rangers are playing so well this year is their new coach, Amber Brooks. She really has Clements a true contender. Maggie Myers bumps one over for the Rangers, and the Doby return attempt kind of dances around on top of the net and falls down on the Doby side. It is now 15 to four. Substitution, Emma Kwan comes in for Clements. She will replace Samantha Van. And now going to serve is Kayun Zhang. They call her Kiki, I believe. Kiki Zhang sends it deep, bumped up by Doby. Clements base, bracing for the return. Now Zhang sets it backwards for Bella Casal. She swings and a carry, I believe, on the Doby side makes it 16 to four. That is the biggest Clements lead. We go to 25 in each of the games in this best of five, unless it goes to the ultimate game, the fifth game, in which case it would be go into 15 in a sprint. Doby returns it. I save my laptop and it is a point two Doby. Clements left it alone. Thought it was maybe going out, but Doby got it inside and I apologize. I did not see who made that play, but I can see that Juliana Aguirre is gonna serve. Here it comes. Bumped up by Van. Now a Beck set Zhang and a big swing by Casal does not get down. Doby gonna return it. They dink it over the blockage. Clements digs it out. Now a big swing. Bella Casal ends up being a winner. Way back in the deepest end of the court, there was an attempt by Andrea Garcia to keep it alive, but it didn't go very far. 17 to five, and now Maggie Myers back on the floor will serve. High toss, lots of top spin, sends it deep. Doby, one more hit to get it over, and they do. Now it's gonna be set up as Zhang sets it up for Duval, and she is blocked. And let's see, the, the tape. The tape on the bottom of the net is keeping me from seeing the number. Okay, it is Jessica Moyes. Jessica Moyes gets the point for Doby. But the Longhorns trail 17 to six, make that 18 to six as their server puts it into the net. Sophie Sparks is in. And who else came in? Sophie Sparks is gonna serve. Chomping on the gum. She lets it fly with a little screwball action on it. Now a set up and a two hand tap over by Jessica Moyes, but Clements is gonna return it. And there's a swing by Casal. Doby somehow keeps it alive. They send it back over. Now Clements to attack. Zhang with a quick set. Unfortunately, that does not work out. Parahar could not get it to go down, but Clements with another chance. Spark sets it up for Emma Kwan, and it's a winner for Clements. Kwan with great balance. She was kind of falling backwards. She kind of hit it behind her head where she really couldn't even see the ball all the way into her hand. But she made it work, 19 to six. Sophie Sparks with backspin gets it over. Doby with one more hit to get it over and Parahar finishes it off when they overset it. It was right in her wheelhouse and Parahar punished the ball. 20 to six. By the way, back when Clements played Kempner and we broadcasted that one, it was Tuesday night volleyball on a Friday night. I called Sparks, Sophia Sparks. It's actually just Sophie. It's like Colonel Potter's horse. She sends it deep to the middle. Now Doby gonna return it. And there's a bang down spike and a good one. You see, uh, I am obstructed in trying to make sure I give proper credit to whoever made that happen. I believe it's Adelie Garcia. But it is 20 to seven. Clements is cruising in this first game. Now ready to serve for the Longhorns, Juliana Aguirre. Let's it go, knuckleball, no spin whatsoever. Zhang, back set for Casal, and she gets the kill. 
21 to 7 sounds like a football game but now is not a good time to talk about Clements football a work in progress we had the broadcast of their season opener on Friday against Crawford all right top spin serve coming in hot from Bella Casal now Maggie Myers bumps it near the back line and a big swing that goes wide it is a big swing attempt by Emma Kwan. She was hoping it hit Dobie fingertips. Evidently, it didn't. All right, looks like it is Andrea Garcia ready to fire from the middle of the baseline for Dobie. 21 to 8, the Longhorns trail. Zhang with a little back set. And a big swing, and it's down. Samara Parahar. Gets another one and it's 22 to eight. And these Rangers looking to make quick work of game one. Emma Kwan to serve from the middle of the baseline. There it goes. It is dig, dug out nicely by Hope Ortiz. And a block winner for Clements. Parahar standing in the way of a futile spike attempt and it's 23 to eight. Kwan serves. Deep to the middle and long. Point to Dobie. They get within 23 to nine. Andrea Garcia and Kyler Joseph off the bench. And it's Garcia who will serve and try to get a run going for Dobie. She jumps a little bit as she sends it down the floor. Now Parahar looking for the deep corner and she got under it a little bit. It's out. 23 to 10 now the score. Dobie trying to mount the comeback. They are 5 and 11 on the season. They are in a district 22-6A for volleyball. Long serve by Dobie and a gift point to the Rangers. It's now game point in game one, 24 to 10. I'll tell you more about the district 22-6A that Dobie is in after game one. Serve goes sideways, Dobie does send it back over though. Zhang setting it up, Duval swings, off fingertips at the net, Dobie will send it back, and they are blocked. Clements captures game one as Duval teamed up with Zhang, helps get the point, blocking it down on the Dobie side, and 25 to 10 is the final score in game one. We'll step aside and be back after this from the volleyball school, glad you're with us for Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School on VibeFortBend.com. We are the Volleyball School with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Xfinity here, how can we help? Hi, um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through September 21st, get fast, reliable Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. VibeFortBend.com is your one and only broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School sports. And our new banner provider, the official banner provider, is Leonetti Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, T-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, 
nobody does it as well as Leonetti Graphics. You notice I, I didn't say nobody does it better. I said nobody does it as well as them. Call your friends at Leonetti Graphics, 281-499-4959. We'll be right back. First Iron Auto welcomes you back to school. Kids got their new shoes and backpacks. Make sure your auto is geared up for those trips in the carpool lane and games. First Iron Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. Great savings on oil changes and brake service, too. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. Welcome back. Our coverage of Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School on VibeFortBend.com. Also brought to you by First Tire and Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations. Clements fans, just know that there's one on Lexington Boulevard. All you got to do is get on Lexington and you head toward the mall, but go past the mall, and when you cross Highway 6, just look to your right. There is First Tyron Automotive. Also Xfinity, home of the 10G Next Generation Network. The future starts now. And, of course, Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider of VibeFortBend.com. And now the first point of game two goes to Doby. Bella Casal served it into the net and now it's number nine, Mia Campos, serving for the black clad Doby Longhorns. She runs up to the baseline. Clements is ready to hit one hard and Samantha Van ends up getting the winner. Doby kept it aloft for a hit or two but it was just coming in too hot. So that ties up game two at one all after Clements won the first one 25 to 10. And from the middle of the baseline, it is Samantha Van. Here comes her serve and through the sinker ball. They couldn't handle it. Alyssa Espinoza went diving for it. Just kind of making that lunge. You know, you set your feet up, you dig where you think it's gonna be. And it kind of has a late breaking action on it. Two to one, Clements. Van comes in hot with the next serve. Now a back set and a hard swing from Aguirre of Doby. Now it's on the Doby side once again and a quick set. Clements is there with the defense. Now a set up and a good block thrown up by Clements. It keeps the point alive, but miscommunication. Zhang, Zhang didn't uh, put as much on the quick set as Parahar thought she would. I guess you can't really spike it if the set doesn't go above the top of the net. We love you, Zhang. All right, two to two. Doby gets the serve from Andrea Garcia. Big swing, Maggie Myers, and it's off the wall, and it almost destroys our laptop. But it's a point to Clements. You know, Maggie Myers was so nice to give us the chair. Well, I say us, it's just me. So thanks for the chair, Maggie, but you know, you don't have to take it out on our laptop. Just messing. All right, nice little quick set by Doby, but here's the big swing. Myers cannot quite get it down. Doby with a nice miraculous return of the volleyball. Myers again, blocked, but it goes out of bounds after that block. So it's a point to the Rangers and they now lead four to two in game two. Can't wait to tell you what our football coverage is coming up later this week. Backspin serve just gets over the net and it's a winner for Clements. And it was one of those quick pitch kind of serves. It was the libero Emma Levy. She's wearing the white jer uh, jersey, all of her teammates wearing the navy blue with Carolina blue numbers trimmed in white. Five to two, Clements, oh, what a play by Zhang, what creativity. Kiwi Zhang, that's it, not Kiki, Kiwi. And she kind of flipped it behind her head, it was like a no-look pass. 
But it was a little tap down winner and it's six to two Rangers. Now the Rangers are attacking again. Zhang setting up Duval. And is it a Clements point? No, it's a Dobie point. I think Duval brushed the tape when she brought her left arm down. You can't touch the net. All right, Dobie is ready to serve and right in front of, in front of us is Alyssa Gori. She has fabulous attachments. They're more than half her height long. Six to three, Rangers trying to add to that lead and a block by Dobie, Persephone Soria. I have never called a sporting event with a participant named Persephone. It's a great moment for me. Six to four, the score. Gorey serves. Clements is going to be able to return it from the middle of the net. It is Van. Hits one hard, but Dobie is going to be able to send it back. Oh, they were going to, but Alyssa Gorey mistimed her serve. So, by the way, I forgot to mention when she started serving that she leads the team in aces with 18, but that service run only lasted two points. Clements making a substitution as Sophie Colinet. I believe it's Colinet. I'm trying to think, what did Coach Brooks tell me when the night of that Kempner match? I think actually it's Colinette. I'm gonna go with Colinette. All right, Doby hits one out, and that's a point to the Rangers. Eight to four, the Rangers lead it. You know they would like a sweep. Alice Zhang. Kiwi's sister sends the serve over. Dobie does manage to return it. Now a nice setup from Myers. She's blocked at the net. It stays in the air, and Dobie is going to be able to return from the middle. It is Mia Campos, and she hits it long. Nine to four Rangers. Here's the serve by... Alice Zhang, and the point goes to Clements. I was obstructed, I didn't see the violation. It is 10 to four, Rangers on top. Doby with an awkward return, however they do get it over once, but they can't get it over twice. One of their digs went sideways and hit the red and white boundary pole, and when that happens, it's out. 11 to four, the score. Alice Zhang fires the serve, not much spin on it. Doby sends it back over. Now Clements ready to attack. Alice gets it to Sophie Collinet. She cannot get it down, a little two-hand tap by Doby, Jessica Moyes. But I guess she, yeah, she got that one and the big cheer that you heard was from the junior varsity of Doby. The Longhorns are within 11 to five and now serving Jocelyn Stringer, her first action. She throws it high in the air, top spin serve. Zhang sets it up and Myers with a little flick of the wrist gets the winner. Maggie Myers, another one makes it 12 to five. I told her when she brought me the chair, she was about to have the match of her life. And she, she actually is. I'm not embellishing it. Here is her serve, bumped up by Doby. In the air thanks to Gori. And they get one of their spike attempts blocked by Clements, but it goes out of bounds. That block from Colinette. And so the point goes to Doby. They trail 12 to six in game two. They're already down one game to none. And now it is their, their libero, Hope Ortiz, Hits the serve long beyond the baseline. I guess that's redundant, isn't it? Duval comes out, Sophie Sparks is in, and Sophie will serve. Wearing very nice looking compression sleeves on both arms. You know, it's, it's kind of a fashion accessory and something that helps you perform well. But Doby strikes back. That is the best spike they've had tonight. Adelie Garcia, who leads the teams in blocks, leads the team in blocks, can also be offensive. And she just was. 
and gets Doby within 13 to seven. And now their server is Elisa Sanchez. She leads in assists for this team with 100. But this is her first action. Alice Zhang sets one up and it's a quick set and a winner. Parahar got on top of it. Good communication. Now the Zhang sisters come in. No, I'm sorry. Kiwi Zhang comes in. Alice goes out. And coming in, Bella Casal. 14 to seven game. Actually, she handed the ball now to Kiwi Zhang, who hands it back to Bella Casal. Who wants it? Okay, Casal's gonna serve. With her team leading 14 to seven, top spin. Doby bumps it up. Sanchez sets it up, but it's a block by Kiwi Zhang and a point for the Rangers, 15 to seven. Casal serves, and it almost got over the net. It tried to crawl over, but then fell down. So that's a, pre, a free point for Doby, which trails 16 to seven. And the serve from Mia Campos. Looks over at her coach. Dawn Sexton gets the signal, sends it to the middle. Van tries to get one down, but Doby is able to keep it up in the air. Now a dig that almost goes to the rafters. Parahar almost touched the net. Somehow it is a Clements point and the Doby coaches are up. They want to talk this over. They don't think that point should have gone to the Rangers. And they may have a point regarding that point. By the way, if you don't mind, I'm going to tear a few little pieces of Gorilla Tape because I got here so late I didn't get to put up our beautiful banner made for us specially by Leonetti Graphics. All right, it stays at Clements Point. Doby didn't win the argument. They're down 16 to eight. Now Clements is attacking again. Big swing, Myers, and it's down. And the ball disappears way back there behind me. And uh, I am i can't go get the ball because I'm busy tearing Gorilla Tape. It's picked up by Hope Ortiz. She gets it back to the court. It's now 17 to eight. 17 to eight is, by the way, the score by which the McCullough Highlanders defeated the uh, the uh, Sam Rayburn Texans in the 1979 homecoming game for the Texans. I was in that game. It's the only game where I ever made a difference. So I just, when I see 17 to eight, that's what I think about. Anyway, Samantha Van ready to serve for Clements, which leads 18-8. Nicks the tape, gets over. Doby tries to get a winner down the line, can't get it. And there's another big swing. It is Myers, and she was dug out brilliantly. Parahar with the block, but Doby keeps it alive. Parahar blocks another one, but it goes in. It's in. I thought maybe that ricochet block off Parahar's forearms, I thought it had gone beyond the baseline. But evidently, the ball got the line. Just a little bit. That's all you need. It's 19 to 8. Clements on top. They're trying to go up two games to none. And there's an out serve. So the volleyball gods, they intervene and make sure that the score is about what it should be, 19 to 9. So Doby will serve, and this time it's Andrea Garcia from the middle of the baseline. They're going to set up Parahar on the quick set, but Doby is able to keep it alive. And a little quick set that surprises the Rangers and gets down. It's a winner for Doby, and credit Araceli Torres, her first kill. Is it a kill if you quick set it over? I don't know. I'll have to ask. Uh, you know, Coach Brooks, after the match, if we get an interview with her. Maggie Myers with a hard swing and gets the winner. I've got the ball. I sent it back that time. I actually had an opportunity to do that. 20 to 10, Rangers lead. Parahar and Sophie Sparks, I think, are going to come off. Okay, Duval came on for Sparks. 
And um, Emma Kwan comes on for Parahar. Quite an exchange. Juliana Mary Cheru also came on for Clements, and she just served. But Doby gets the point. So the service time of Ju Juliana Mary Cheru is not going to last very long. 22-11. Doby competing hard against an outstanding Clements team, the best team the Rangers have had in a long, long time. Now it's Alyssa Gorey with her 18 aces and the long attachments firing her serve with top spin. Here's the big swing, Maggie Myers off fingertips and down. Smothered at the end of the play by Mia Campos, but it's back to a 10 point Ranger lead, 21 to 11. Kiwi Zhang ready to serve. Right in front of all the sub-varsity girls along the wall. Here comes her serve. It is bumped up nicely by Doby, but nobody there. You know what? I've noticed there have not been any timeouts in this match. 22 to 11 is the score. And I, I really need a quick timeout so I can hang up my, my beautiful Leonetti graphics banner. Zhang, Kiwi. Serves and Doby bumps it up, set, and a gentle spike, but it's a winner for Doby. Sometimes you need a little finesse, sometimes you need a lot, and they got it from Jessica Moyes. Off the bench and ready to serve is Jocelyn Stringer. She looks over at Coach Sexton in a 22 to 12 game. Everybody who has served this evening is a right-hander. Zhang sets one up in the middle for Myers, and that's a winner. 23 to 12. Myers will go back to the baseline and try and finish off game two. High toss, very high toss. Nobody tosses it that high except Kennedy Rogers of Ridgepoint. Tap over by Doby, and they get the winner. Mia Campos with beautiful vision just Taps it, you know, with a little upward flick of the wrist over a two-player block and got it down to an open spot, 23 to 13. Now they're libero. Hope Ortiz ready to serve. There it goes with counterclockwise spin. Now a setup and a big swing by Bella Casal. She cannot get it down. Doby going to counter and another Doby winner. It's the libero. Hope Ortiz, and she swung with her left arm. She's a righty, but she had to improvise, and it worked. Her team down 23 to 14. Ortiz fires. A little bit of a knuckleball. Quick set by Clements. Doby handles it, and they tried a quick set, but it didn't work. Unfortunately for them, Alyssa Gorey hit it into the net. It's 24 to 14. Game point for Clements, which already leads one game to none. They have had no timeouts, no breaks. It's gone very, very quickly. Sophie Sparks ready to try and serve it out. I haven't even gotten a chance to tell you which football games we're doing this week. Hope Ortiz, her, her dig went sideways, but Doby did manage to send it over. Now the Rangers attacking. Parahar tapping it, and she committed some kind of violation. Actually, she won that battle. Clements got the point. They won the second game, 25 to 14. We'll step aside and be back with game three. Will the Clements Rangers girls get a sweep tonight over Pasadena Adobe? We shall return. Xfinity here, how can we help? Hi, um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. 
Now through September 21st, get fast, reliable Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. First Iron Auto welcomes you back to school. Kids got their new shoes and backpacks. Make sure your auto is geared up for those trips in the carpool lane and games. First Iron Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. Great savings on oil changes and brake service, too. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. All right, I have had a pronunciation lesson on how to pronounce the Rangers. Number nine, it is Sophie Colinet. They have two Sophies. They have Sophie Sparks and Sophie Colinet. All right, if I get a chance to talk with Coach Amber Brooks on our post-match show, which I certainly hope we can because we didn't get to do a pre-match show, the Countdown to First Serve show, I will ask her, are there no timeouts allowed in this match? I don't think we've had any. But there you go. All right, we're gonna have a, a judge of the corner right in front of us. And we have a microphone. I kind of hope he'll be like one of those theatrical umpires where they, they say, ooh, you know. I don't think they really do that in volleyball. They just point the flag either down for a shot that's in or up for one that is out. All right. Clements won the first one 25 to 10 and won the second one 25 to 14. And now they go for the sweep. <clears throat> and the first server for Dobie in this game three will be Kaylee Bowie. This is her first action. Kaylee Bowie. B-U-I. Here comes her serve. Nice top spin. Kiwi Zhang setting up. And it's a winner for Clements. Bella Casal hits it hard. And it met fingertips near the net, but too hot for Dobie to handle. And it's one to nothing Rangers. And Casal will now serve. She sends it very deep, dug out by Ortiz of Dobie. Now they will respond, big swing. Maggie Myers digs out a spike attempt by Juliana Aguirre, and Myers gets it back, but her spike is not down. Now it is a almost winner for Dobie. Wait a minute, too many hits on the Clement side. I don't know if Coach Amber Brooks agrees. All that matters is that the officials ruled it a Dobie point, and it's one-to-one, -one, the Longhorn serving. Knuckleball serve, that came in funky, but Clements was able to send it back with Samantha Van. Now there's a big swing, and it goes wide, point to Clements. Let's see, uh, the outside hitter over there for Dobie, I'm just completely obstructed, like I'm in a forest of tall athletic girls. I believe it was Jessica Moyes who just mishit it. So it's two to one, Clements. Now serving for the Rangers, Samantha Van. Dobie sends it over. Kiwi Zhang sets it up. Parahar 
Rangers with a miraculous return. I thought it was gonna be a Dobie point. And now it is. They deserved it. Kiwi Zhang digging the ball and when she did it kind of brushed up against the, the elevated chair that one of the officials is standing on. So it's now two to two. Jocelyn Stringer ready to serve for Dobie. Here comes her serve with top spin. Dug out nicely by Levy. There's a big swing by Meyer. She is denied at the net. Now it's high in the air and Kiwi Zhang sends it over. Now a big swing and it is out. Mia Campos fired it wide for Dobie. It's three to two Rangers. Levy ready to serve. Parahar is gonna come out. She'll be replaced by Juliana Mary Chiru. And Chiru will serve. She spins it, only takes one step toward the baseline. Now Dobie is going to return her serve. And a whistle and a point to Dobie. That would have been a clean winner by Jessica Moy. She got all of that when it was well placed. But before she actually struck the ball, the whistle came and Clements committed a violation. So that evens this match, or this game I should say, at three to three. Clements is up two games to none. Bump up by Bella Casal. And a winner in the middle, it's Duval. The redhead takes care of it. And I didn't realize how tall Kiwi Zhang is. High toss for her, top spin serve. Nice sideways dig and trying to get one down is Mia Campos, but the Rangers send it back over. Now Dobie can attack one more time. It's another try by Campos, and she dinks it over the defense. And a beauty that ties it. Dobie with a point to get, get it to 4-4. Four, four. Mia Campos will serve for Dobie. The Longhorns trying to avoid getting swept. That's job one right here. And then if they can get the win in game three, we'll go from there. Zhang setting up Duval in the middle. She taps it over, but Dobie keeps it alive. Now a deep spike by Dobie, but Clements is equal to the task. Maggie Myers gets on top of the ball, but Dobie digs it out. Now here's a setup. And a swing by Casal. Dobie kept it off the floor. That was miraculous. Now Zhang sets up Myers. She's blocked. And it's going to be a Dobie point. I think Myers touched the net. She's nodding her head. I think that's what that means. The Dobie JV is very, very supportive. I am impressed by their enthusiasm. Here comes the serve that came in hot from Mia Campos. And Myers ends up getting a winner. That's a kill. It didn't get down clean, but it came in hot enough. And the score is now five to five, and it is Myers who will serve for Clements. You got Duval, Casal, Levy, Kiwi Zhang, and also Van on the floor for the Rangers. They are ready to return. And it is gonna be a near winner. It's a winner for Clements. It took a moment. Bella Casal gets credit for it. And Dobie did keep it alive. They almost somehow got it over. Six to five, Rangers leading and serving. Almost an overset by Dobie, but Dobie comes up with the point. Persephone Soria makes the play, gets it to 6-6. Hope Ortiz ready to serve for Dobie in a 6-6 game. Bumped up by Myers. Zhang back set, Duval swats at it. Does not get all of it. Dobie sends it over. 
Myers bumps it, Zhang sets it up for Duvall and a little bit too short. Into the net, point to Dobie, they lead it, seven to six. These Longhorn girls are really determined to take this game three. Hope springs eternal and Hope Ortiz serves. Myers bumps it. There's a big swing by the Rangers. Bella Casal didn't get a clean winner, but she was there to tap it down had it not been set into the net. We're tied at seven. Sophie Sparks ready to serve. Waiting for Amber Brooks to make the signal while she uh, lobbies with the officials there a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's on the Clement side. Seven to seven. Duval taps it over. No, it's not Duval because she's just now sitting on the net. Parahar is back in. Duval and Parahar are the two tallest Ranger players. It's eight to seven, Clements. After they fell behind seven to six, they've had the last two points, and now Sophie Sparks will serve. There it goes with the screwball action. She likes to do that, make it kind of fade away. And it's a winner for Doby. Parahar went up high to block one off the hand of Adelie Garcia, but it went off of Parahar's forearm out of, forearm out of bounds. And we are tied again. It's eight to eight. Now serving for Doby, Kaylee Bowie, her second time to serve. Zhang setting up Parahar, swings hard off the top of the net. Doby, Doby will send it back. Zhang, Sparks, now big bang by Casal, but Doby is able to return it. Van down the near sideline. Doby returns that. They're returning everything and another point for Doby. Oh, there is no quit in these girls. From Pasa get down Dina. Adelie Garcia gets the winner there and puts Doby back on top, nine to eight. Kaylee Bowie's service continues. Here it comes. Oh, Myers mishit that one. Knuckleball serve and it fooled her and it's 10 to eight. And that's the biggest lead that Doby has had at any point in this match. They're down two games to none. Sparks bumps it. Zank Myers, Myers and Sparks kind of bumped into each other and nobody got a clean shot at the ball and it was kind of a friendly fire error. And now it's a three point Doby lead, 11 to eight. Even though we're in the Clements gym, those Doby JV girls are making enough noise that it almost sounds like we're in Pasadena. Van bumps one sideways and sending it over Emma Levy. Now Doby will attack, trying to gain on that three point lead. And almost spiked into the Raptors by Myers. Doby bumps it over with two hands. Now Clements can attack. It's Van who cannot get it down in the middle of the baseline. Now a big swing. Doby sends it over to Clements. And there's a swing by uh, Levy. Now, this is the longest point of the night, without a doubt. Van swings hard, hits it into the net. Another Doby point. And they lead by four, 12 to eight. We might get a Clements timeout. We get one. We'll be right back on VikeFortBend.com, and I'll tell you what our football is going to be this week. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. All right, here we go, VibeFortBend.com fans. On Thursday night, 7 p.m. kickoff, 6.45 p.m. countdown to kickoff show. It is Fulcher against Ridgepoint. Fulcher is purple. Ridgepoint is purple. Fulcher moving up into Class 6A for the first time. I think it's going to be a great matchup, and wouldn't it be fun if those two 
played each other in the playoffs at some point. Then on Friday, same start time, 6.45 p.m. countdown to kickoff before the Travis Tigers take on Katie Jordan. Travis 0-1 on the year after losing to Maid Creek. They got to get things going in the right direction. And then on Saturday night, 6 p.m. kickoff, 5.45 p.m. countdown to kickoff show. Lamar Consolidated and Kempner. Kempner 1-0 this year after going 0-10 last year. Happy to see them get that monkey off their back. And Doby coming out of the timeout gets yet another point. And the hero on that one, Jessica Moyes. 13 to eight, they lead it. Now it's the serve from Kaylee Bowie. Samantha Van trying to end this Doby run. And she doesn't, she hit one out, far sideline. It's another Doby point. They lead it 14 to eight. They are on fire. Bowie serves again, here it comes. Bumped up nicely by Levy. Now there's a big swing by Van, and she gets it down. That ends the run. Rangers get the serve back. Trailing in this one 14 to nine, but they lead in the match two games to none. Casal ready to serve. Top spin, Doby handling it. Big swing, but an unforced error that will be a Clements point. Adelie Garcia trying to kind of move laterally and swing at the same time. Not easy to do. And Clements gets within 14 to 10. Casal serves again. Sends it deep to the right corner. Doby's gonna send it back. Nice dig on that play by Levy. Fight at the net. Van cannot get it through the block. Myers hits it into the net. Clements is just ice cold. And now that I think about it, this gym is kind of chilly right now. 15 to 10 the score. Doby leading and serving, trying to avoid the sweep. Here comes their serve. Two Rangers fighting over it. And the ball somehow gets over the net. And that's an amazing winner. I, I thought they might get called for a double hit as Kiwi Zhang and Bella Casal were both going for the same ball, but evidently only one of them touched it. Clements is now within 15 to 11, and Samantha Van fires her serve deep to the right corner, bumped up by Doby. And coming to the near corner, the ball gets into the corner and good for Doby. They continue on fire. Jocelyn Stringer will serve for the Longhorns. Her team leading 16 to 11 and trying to capture this game three. Zhang with the back set for Parahar, hits it hard, hits it long. Another Doby point. And it's 17 to 11. That matches their biggest lead of this third game or of the whole match. The serve of Stringer, here it comes with topspin, bumped up by Sparks. Now Myers sends one deep to the baseline. Doby keeps it in the air. And they bump it over, Parahar and her long right arm get in the way. They, it's a beautiful defensive play that ends up an offensive winner for Clements. Or no, it didn't, I think, unfortunately, I'm sorry, I missed that, but Parahar touched the net. And the violation makes it 18 to 11, Doby. Zhang, a little quick set. Doby handles it. And they send it over to the Rangers side. Now a battle at the net, big swing, Van. And it's a winner for Clements. That one I saw with no obstruction. 18 to 12, Clements is within six. Coming off is Levy. Sophie Sparks comes on. She goes straight to the baseline and gets ready to serve. She looks over at Coach Amber Brooks. Here goes her serve, deep to the middle. Doby digs it out, sends it back. Tapping it over to the net, and Clements handles it. Zhang with a quick set. Found an open spot. It's a winner for Clements. They get within five now. They're down 18-13. But they already have two games in their pocket. Yeah. 
Sophie Sparks ready. Here goes her serve. And Dobie's gonna send it back. And it's a miscommunication. Persephone Soria jumped up and she expected the, the set to go in a little bit different location. And it's a point for the Rangers. They get within 18 to 14. Sophie Sparks serves again. From beyond the boundary, Dobie sends it over, but the Rangers handle it nicely. Back over her head, Myers. Now it's on the Dobie side. Big swing by Stringer, cannot get it down. Now Myers gets on top of it, sends it deep. Long way from the net, but Dobie does get it over. Van Zhang, Duval hits it out. Point Dobie, they lead it 19-14. Now one of the shortest Longhorn girls of them all, Juliana Aguirre. He serves. Nice set by Zhang. Gets it down. Great creativity. You know, I think I might have misidentified Aguirre. Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. It was Elisa Sanchez. Aguirre is taller than that. Kiwi Zhang serves it for Clements. Trailing 19-15. Doby almost gets a point. Zhang. Sets up Casal. Her winner does not get down, but Clements is attacking once again. Big swing Casal. She's blocked at the net. Rangers time again. Myers takes something off of it, gets it over the block, but Dobie digs it out. And now down the far sideline and another Dobie winner. Oh my. Jessica Boys. 20 to 15. Dobie on top, trying to save game three. All right, now here is the serve of Mia Campos. Zhang to Casal, and that's a Ranger winner. Pinballing off a couple of defensive hands. That gets Clements within 20 to 16. Maggie Myers will serve. On the floor for the Rangers, Kiwi Zhang, Emma Levy, also Samantha Van, and Bella Casal. And it's a point for Doby. They are really hitting some precisely accurate kill shots. I'm impressed. They now lead 21 to 16. Four points away from capturing a game here in beautiful First Colony. I'm not sure what the discussion is, but the official who is on the floor as opposed to the elevated chair is over there talking to the scorer's table personnel. Fans are using it as an opportunity to make some noise. All right. It was indeed Adobe Point, and now serving is Hope Ortiz. Big swing, Samantha Band. She gets it down. The lead is down to four again. Oh, wait a minute. I think that is a milestone kill for Samantha Van. It's a milestone kill. I need to see what, the, what is on the sign. 2,000, actually it's not a kill, it's an assist. Kiwi Zhang, her 2,000th assist as a Clements Ranger. And that seems to have gotten some momentum going as Parahar bangs one down on Adobe Overset. And now we've got a three point game, 21 to 18. They're chanting Kiwi, Kiwi. And she's not even from New Zealand. All right, here's the serve from Levy. Doby trying to stem the tide. Zhang keeps one alive. Is she gonna get another one? No, she bumps that one over. That's not an assist. Okay, so Myers with a diving attempt at a save. 
She hits the floor hard. She's tough. She'll be all right. But it's another Doby point. And the Longhorns lead it 22 to 18. Congratulations, Kiwi Zhang, 2,000th career assist. Doby serving with Kaylee Bowie. Now a setup for Myers, gets on top of it, but Doby digs it out. And now they go cross court looking for an empty spot. Rangers are there with the defense. There's a nice save on the part of Bella Casal. And it's a violation on Doby. So that's a point to the Rangers. They get within 22 to 19, and now Bella Casal will serve. Here goes her serve down the far sideline. I heard a whistle, and I think we've got an alignment problem. It's a violation against Doby, and this game's getting exciting. 22 to 20, Rangers trying to mount the comeback. They had Mylar balloons that say 2,000 ready for Kiwi to congratulate her. But we'll talk about party favors later. It's all ready. She brings it. Sends it deep. Sideways dig. Goes out of bounds. Unforced error makes it a one-point game. 22 to 21. Timeout taken by Doby. We'll take it with them. This is VikeFortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through September 21st, get fast, reliable Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. All right, pretty good point coming out of the timeout. Rangers trying to tie this, this third game. Doby has it alive on their side. High dig, goes over to the Clement side. Now a back set for Parahar. She loses a battle at the net. She had to touch it twice because there was no other Ranger close when she was blocked at point blank range. It's now 23 to 21, Doby on top. Speaking of on top, I'm getting on top of a chair so I can see everything. Here comes the top spin serve from Doby. Kiwi sends it to Samantha Van, hits it hard, but Doby digs it out. Here comes the Longhorn return, they're blocked at the net. It's still on their side. And a little tap over with the left hand from Mia Kapos, and a winner for the Rangers. Harahar got on top of it, and it's a one point game again, 23 to 22. Samantha Van ready to serve from the middle of the baseline. Looks at the signal from Coach Brooks. There goes her serve with top spin, sends it deep. Big swing by Doby, but the Rangers handle it. Kiwi Zhang over to Maggie Myers. Didn't get a chance to really hit it hard. But Karahar on the over set, bangs it down, and we're tied at 23. You gotta win by two. Just remember that for those in Rio Linda. You've got to win by two. Maggie Myers, the captain, over there talking to Coach Amber Brooks before we get a serve from Samantha Van. All right. Van's serve is on the way. Pretty deep. Big swing by Doby. And it is out. No, it's good. Adelie Garcia. Gets the big winner, and now it is game point for Doby. But before we get game point, we'll get a Clements timeout. We'll return on your one and only broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports, fightfortbend.com. 
We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Leonetti Graphics is the official banner provider of VibeFortBend.com. You can call them at 281-499-4959. 23 years ago, they started creating stuff in an apartment. But now they've got a state-of-the-art facility, and Stafford has got everything you need to make your marketing vision come true. All right, Doby with a game point, trying to capture game three and avoid the sweep. Now getting this serve of Juliana Aguirre. The bump almost goes to the rafters. Maggie Meyer sends it to the middle. Now it's on the Doby side. And they'll get a swing attempt and a winner. They get the game. Jessica Moyes. Doby wins game three, 25-23. All right. It kind of reminds me of Rocky. You remember the very first Rocky when Apollo's manager said, he doesn't know this is a blankety-blank show. He thinks this is a blankety-blank fight. We'll be right back. First Iron Auto welcomes you back to school. Kids got their new shoes and backpacks. Make sure your auto is geared up for those trips in the carpool lane and games. First Iron Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. Great savings on oil changes and brake service too. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireAndAuto.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations. Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Xfinity here, how can we help? Hi, um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through September 21st, get fast, reliable Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. Back inside the gym at Clements High School in Sugarland, Texas. And the Doby girls with an injection of confidence after coming back to win that game three and avoid the sweep. Doby on three, one, two, three, You heard that, Doby on three. They are fired up and ready for this fourth game. By the way, join us on Thursday night. Fulcher and Ridgepoint. Start off our week two football coverage. Then on Friday night, the Travis Tigers against Katie Jordan. And then on Saturday, Lamar Consolidated taking on Kempner. Kempner 1-0 after beating Aldean last week when they had an 0-10 season in 2023. Very happy for Coach Troy DeGar, his players, his staff, and everybody at Kempner. All right, 
Hold on, I'm gonna put the headset down. I gotta do something real fast. I'll be right back. I am back and we are underway. Clement serves to start game four, hoping to finish off this match. Parahar with a block at the net. Doby somehow gets it over. Now they're gonna set up Parahar again. She is blocked and Doby gets the first point of game four. All right, for Doby, Juliana Aguirre ready to serve from the middle of the baseline. Keeps her feet on the floor as she does and serves it long. That evens it up, 1-1 in game four. Aguirre comes off, and replacing her is Mia Hippolyte. First time we've seen Mia. I hope it's not Maya. I hope I didn't mispronounce it. All right, one to one is the score, and Doby takes the lead on a bang down spike down the line from uh, Adelie Garcia. Jocelyn Stringer ready to serve for the Longhorns who lead two to one and are down two to one in this match, but they just got a win in game three and they're pretty fired up about it. And unfortunately for the Longhorns, that was a bum steer. Stringer served it into the net. It's two to two. Emma Levy ready to serve. Stays pretty stationary while she does that. Doby sends it back over. Levy to Zhang to Maggie Myers down the far sideline and good. A very clean winner. Didn't touch anybody's fingertips. Nothing but floor. And it's three to two. Clements on top. Levy ready to serve. Here goes her serve. Kind of a knuckleball. And a nice setup for Moyes. She sends it to the corner. I think there were too many hits on the Clement side, but they might have gotten away with it. And now it is Doby attacking again. Clements with a little dink that gets over. Beautiful creativity. Bella Casal got it down in front of her opposite number, Jocelyn Stringer. They both wear number three, and it's four to two Clements. And I think I was wrong on that when I said Clements had one too many hits. All right, Levy sends it over on the serve and the return is overset by Doby. Clements now leads five to two. And Levy goes back to the baseline one more time. Here comes the serve by Levy. High bump. Now from off the floor, Mia Campos tries to get one down. Clements gets a chance to attack. Myers couldn't go all out with it. And there is a spike attempt by Moyes that goes long. Four point lead for Clements, six to two. And Levy keeps on serving. Doby gets the ball up with a two hand upward tap and a long bump over by Hippolyte. Duval at the net for Clements. Now big swing Myers. Doby digs it out. Ball goes beyond the sideline, but Doby keeps it going. And then an unforced error is Stringer hits it into the net. It's seven to two. Doby had all the momentum, won that game three, and you might want to call a timeout if they happen to drop this point. Levy serves it. Doby ready to return, and it's a violation on Doby. A lift, and it is eight to two, Clements. But Levy continues her serve on the way. I don't have enough string to go grab the ball. I don't have enough string to grab the ball. <laughs> I had to tell a trainer. I'm, I'm tethered to my gear, so I couldn't, couldn't get it. Yeah. 
All right, I'm sorry, I was a little distracted there. Eight to three, Clements leads, but Dobie just got a point. Maggie Myers is denied at the net, but Clements with a chance to attack again. They bump it over, Dobie on the attack. Now Moyes hits it hard, gets the winner. Correction, Mia Campos, not Moyes. All right, now Alyssa Sanchez. Ready to serve for Dobie, which trails eight to four and trying to save the match in this game four. And that's a miss hit, or not Mia Campos' most memorable shot. She hit it into the net. It's nine to four, Clements. Kiwi Zhang, who got her 2,000th career assist earlier tonight, was smiling until she served into the net. Now she's not smiling. It's nine to five, Rangers on top. Mia Campos ready to serve for Dobie. Big deep breath. Now she serves, there it goes with backspin. Nice dig by Levy. Meyer swings hard and it's a winner. And it is assistant principal Matthew Warren who retrieves the ball this time. Talking with Katie White, who leads the cheer team. And over there in the corner with them is Bobby Darnell, Clements head football coach. All right, 10 to five. I'm a name dropper. Rangers leading 10 to five. Doby trying to respond. Baggy Myers taps it over, but great defense by Doby. They send it over with Aguirre. Now there's a big swing and a winner for Bella Casal. Another Ranger point, and now the Rangers are up 11 to five. Maggie Myers serving. High toss, hot serve off the top of the net, but Doby, Bo, Doby saves it. And now Clements overset it, and they were able to handle the hard spike attempt. Now Doby trying one more time. Big swing, blocked, and it's a Clements winner. Juliana Aguirre spiked it hard, but it came back. A couple of desperation dives at the ball, and on the play, one of those players that made a great desperation dive, Mia Campos, gets up. She's going to be okay. She's smiling now. But you come down hard on those elbows on a, you know, one of those shots that you don't really worry about. You just say, I got to keep this ball off the floor. She goes out. Andrea Garcia replaces her. It's 12 to 5 Rangers. Down at the other end, the very patient Maggie Myers tosses it high in the air. Top spin serve, come in hot, but it's a return by Doby. Duval denied at the net on a little creative tap. And a spinning shot by Clements does not get over the net. Point to Doby. The Longhorns keep on fighting. They are competing hard. Their libero, Hope Ortiz, looked like she was gonna come off. No, she stays on and she's gonna serve. But coming in for Doby is Adelie Garcia. Ortiz with a knuckleball serve. Bumped up by Levy. Now it's Samantha Van, cannot get it to go down. Doby with great defense. They send it back to the Rangers side. Zhang, back set, big swing, Casal! And a winner for Clements. 13 to six, they lead it. Sophie Sparks off the bench will serve for the Rangers. Here comes her serve. She always likes to put that counterclockwise spin on it. And it is Parahar who gets the winner for Clements as Doby overset the return of serve. And it's 14 to six. Sophie Sparks ready to serve again. Here it comes and it's long. A break for Doby to get within 14 to seven. 
Jessica Moyes comes in along with Kaylee Bowie. Bowie will go straight to the baseline and serve. Andrea Garcia hands her the ball. The official says go ahead. There is the serve. Bumped up by Sparks, deep in the backcourt. Now a big swing by Casal. It's denied by Adobe. Now a setup. And a swing that goes long for Doby. Juliana Aguirre got a little bit too far underneath the ball. And the Longhorns trail 15 to seven. Gasol talks with coach Amber Brooks for a moment. Slaps the ball. Now has it airborne with top spin. Doby bumping it up. Here is the swing by Aguirre, cannot get it to go down. Now there's a swing by Van. She is denied by Doby. And the winner for Doby, Parahar, was there for the block, but it came down on the Clement side of the net, and in frustration, Parahar slammed it back into the net. That makes it a 15-8 game, Doby trailing. And Aguirre going back to the baseline to serve. There goes her serve. She never wastes time, you know. Samantha Van didn't have real good timing on a spike uh, or a uh, dig that was coming out her sideways, a set that was coming sideways. Could I butcher that sentence any worse? I'm so sorry. 15 to eight, Rangers leading. 15 to nine rather, Doby serving. And this point is gonna be a possibility for the Rangers. Swing by Parahar, she still doesn't get the bounce she's been looking for. She does get a nice block that results in a Ranger point. She and Kiwi Zhang right there alongside each other, Parahar and Zhang get the point to make it 16-9 Rangers. And Samantha Van will serve. Here it comes and it is good! No doubt about that when it wasn't even on the line. It was totally inside the line. 17 to nine, Rangers leading, trying to finish off a win here. They lead two games to one. They won the first one 25 to 10, the second one 25 to 14, but they let the third one get away 25-23. Another serve by Van, and Aguirre tries to get one down for Doby, does not get it. Parahar denied at the net, now it's on the Doby side. Big swing by Aguirre from near the baseline. Big swing. And it's, it's a point to the Rangers, 18 to nine. Samantha Van, I believe. When I stop talking, it's not because, uh, not because, I, well, sometimes I just can't see what I've, I'm, I'm obstructed, so I wait until I can tell you for sure who deserves credit. And on that one, Moyes gets the point. Moyes scores for Doby to bring the Longhorns within 18 to 10. Off the bench, Jocelyn Stringer coming in. They like to have her serve at some critical moments. And this would be one for Doby as they trail by eight. She sends it deep to the middle, bumped up by Van. Little setup for Parahar. She hit it long. Nobody on the Doby side touched it as it, that spike came through. And it's a point for Doby, which gets within 18 to 11. And he'll have Stringer serve again. Here goes her serve, coming in hot. Bumped up nicely by Casal. Parahar hits it long again. 18 to 12. She had it in a good spot, but I don't think she elevated as much as she wanted to. Doby within six. Stringer to serve again. There it goes, coming in hot again. Bumped up by Casal. Now it's gonna be a swing by Myers. She's blocked, and that's a Doby winner. These Longhorn girls have found something that uh, they just didn't have early in this game. They're still down by five, but they're on a roll. 
It was a good time to bring Stringer in for a service run, and she's coming through. But that one goes into the net. I know what you're saying, Doby fans. You're going to say I jinxed it. Clements leads 19-13 as they try to close this out in four. And Levy will serve. Here it comes. Bumped up by Aguirre. And it's going to be Moyes' chance, but she has to use two hands and not get on top of it. Now it is a winner for Maggie Myers of Clements. It's 20 to 13. Substitution for Doby. Aguirre comes off. And Hippolyte comes on. Another serve by Levy. Here it comes. Bumped high up near the rafters. Doby overset it into the net. That hurts when you do it to yourself. 21 to 13. Clements leading four points away from a match victory. Levy, ready, here it comes. No spin whatsoever, it's a knuckleball. And... The serve was out, so the point goes to Doby. They get within 21 to 14. And now the serve from Adelie Garcia, and it's an ace. Clements misjudged it. They let it drop, and it's in. 21 to 15. Clements still five points away, four points away, rather, from a match win. Good serve. Came in hot. Now Myers, and that's a winner. It goes off the attempted dig of Jocelyn Stringer. Goes all the way up and hits a banner at the, uh, what I think is the north end of the gym. 22 to 15. Now Kiwi Zhang serves. Doby trying to get that momentum going again, but they hit it into the net. And it's another Ranger point. Araceli Torres couldn't get it over the net, and it's 23 to 15. Rangers two points away. Kiwi Zhang, here it comes. Sends it deep, overset it. Rangers get a chance to really wail on it. And Casal cannot get it to go down. Doby with another chance to respond. Now Levy, now Zhang, now Myers hit it wide. Near sideline. Very good call by the official. But it is still 23 points for the Rangers. Doby gets within 23 to 16. Alyssa Espinoza ready to serve. She spins it. There goes her serve. Bumped up by Levy. Now Zhang in the middle. Myers got it. 24 to 16. Clements leads and it's match point. And who will do the honors on match point? Maggie Myers. Duvall is in. She's in the middle. Top spin serve. They overset it. And Van couldn't get it to go down. Now Doby trying to return it and keep this match alive. Zhang setting it up for Van. Swings. Doby keeps it off the floor. Aguirre gets it over. Now it comes back to the Doby side. And a little quick set. Levy is there to return it. Now a quick set by the Rangers. And now it is Myers deep in the court, sending it back up into the air. Doby still playing good defense. Oh, that may do it, and it does! Rangers win! Rangers win 25 to 16 in the fourth, and we're done. Not our broadcast, but the match is done. Both teams. Slapping low fives in good sportsmanship underneath the net. And Doby with a very game effort. They end up falling to 5-12 and 12 on the season. Clements improves to 21-4. and four. And down at the other end, they're not just celebrating the win, but they're also celebrating Kiwi Zhang. They're chanting Kiwi. And I hope we can get her as a post-game guest.
We'll step aside and be back on VitefortBend.com. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through September 21st, get fast, reliable Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years when you add Xfinity Mobile with unlimited data. And get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 a month value included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Actual speeds vary. First Iron Auto welcomes you back to school. Kids got their new shoes and backpacks. Make sure your auto is geared up for those trips in the carpool lane and games. First Iron Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. Great savings on oil changes and brake service, too. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and to book your appointment today. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. FirstTireandAuto.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Sorry about that. I had to commit the cardinal sin of dead air. You know, no DJ or sports announcer ever wants dead air, but thankfully I have a post-game guest. Yay. It is Amber Brooks. And uh, first of all, Coach, uh, I was kind of hoping we'd have Kiwi Zhang here, but talk about how great it is. Oh, here she comes. She's coming. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, yes. Kiwi Zhang. I'm Roger. I'm, I'm very happy for you on your 2,000th assist. Mm -hmm. Now, that type of thing, I assume doesn't sneak up on you. Everybody knows when the 2000s is coming, right? Yes, <laughs> yes I did know for a while. Well, did you yes. um, did you really eat up the attention or were you a little embarrassed? How did you feel when people were chanting Kiwi? I was a little embarrassed, <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't know they were gonna bring a sign out. I thought it was gonna be at the end. So. Well, that was very Funny nice. That shows yes. great unity among the team. They were so happy for you, it was genuine happiness. Mylar balloons, 2000, yeah. that was awesome. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay, so uh, Coach Brooks mm -hmm. has definitely made a difference with this program, and uh, I know she's looking right at you, so you have to say really nice things yeah. about her. But uh, what a great turnaround. I mean, un unless this is incorrect, you're 21-4? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about the difference in Clements volleyball this year? I mean, it feels great. I, I like the new atmosphere. And, everything. and this is your senior year, yes, right? Yes, it is my senior yes, year. Yes, I guess if you got to 2,000 assists and you weren't even a senior yet, that would be a record <laughs> that would, yeah, probably. Be really cool. <laughs> okay, well, mm. you go celebrate with your teammates. I want to ask okay. Coach Brooks a few questions. Okay. Okay. Bye, babe. All right, so, uh, Coach, uh, first of all, I know that rankings don't really mean anything, right. but they give someone like me something to talk about. Absolutely. And I noticed the Texas Girls Coaches Association has you ranked third in the state. That's right. Now, that's right. if that's true, then why doesn't the Volleyball Insiders poll even have you <laughs> in the top 20? I don't think you're even there. Yeah, so um, I think we're a little underrated just because we're small. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have a ton of big hitters, but as far as defensively, I think we come in and People are, it's unexpected. I think, you know, a lot of the, the teams we've seen this preseason, you know, 
are okay going in. They've got big hitters. You know, it's unexpected for us to come out, but our ball control is, is just phenomenal. It's outstanding. The girls work really hard on keeping the ball off the floor, and they'll keep it in play as long as we can, and we'll frustrate the other team, and that's how we're getting these wins out. Well, do you ever kind of, if there is some way to, to get an edge, you know, sometimes people, let's say a player or a coach, will accuse the other team of saying something that they didn't even say if that'll give them an edge. <laughs> but uh, do you maybe think your girls possibly feel a little bit disrespected and want to want to show the world that they really are this good? I think that they, the and just the vibe and the, the culture and everything that we feel, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, we're not very big, so how are we going to attack that? How are we going to, you know, defend on our side? Whereas, you know, we are playing kids who are a lot bigger than we are, um, who should be winning at the net. Mm -hmm. um, our kids come at it and attack it in a way that I think is very mature and very um, positive. And I think they say, you know what, we're not going to outwin them at the net. We're not going to outwin them height-wise. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that they can't hit a ball on our floor. Um, so I do think that it's not necessarily they feel disrespected. I think that they accept challenges really well. Mm -hmm. um, so when we come into this game and we know that we're going to be smaller than our opponent, we, we know that we're going to have to you know, make that adjustment, make that defensive play, um, and make it a little bit more often. So I think they come in not necessarily, like I said, disrespected, but I think they come in and they know, like, it's okay, you can be big, we got you. <laughs> now, how about the way you feel when you have a chance to sweep and – Dobie came out and kind of seized the momentum in game three and managed to extend it. Is that something that upsets you and you say, girls, we need to dominate, or do you just kind of expect that that is going to happen and you just uh, just be happy that you won in four? So a win's a win. I always tell them a point's a point no matter how it looks. It can look ugly. It can look really cool. Um, so a win's a win, but at the same time, it's a good learning experience for us. We have to learn how to keep our errors minimal, and we've got to learn how to keep pushing forward even when we are down. Um, one of the things I love about this team is that they always fight no matter what for every single point. And so when we do get into a hole, they continue to fight. They don't just lay down. Um, so that, that third game, you know, it was 25-23. We could have given it up, and they had a five, six-point lead um, at one point, and they could have given it up, but they didn't. They kept fighting, and they kept conquering those those points one after the next. So um, it is frustrating as a, as a coach and as a player because, um, you know, me, I just want to win, and I want to go out strong and everything, but I also understand that this is a sport, and it's, it's you're playing with girls. It, the game of volleyball is literally – it's whoever can make the least amount of errors. So it's not always going to work in your favor, and sometimes you got to work through that. Yeah, well, your team is really fun to watch. Congratulations <laughs> on another you. win, and especially to Kiwi Zhang. And, um, you know, we'll just keep following you and, you know, uh, keep looking at the schedule. I kind of figure out which matches I think I'm going to do. Absolutely. But I can always change them later on because – I'll be honest with you, I didn't know you were going to be this good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. We really enjoy having you here, but um, I hope that you get to come watch some more of them play because they love it. Yeah, I don't know what else is going on on October 22nd, but I think that will be your second meeting with Ridgepoint, and there could be a lot on the line Absolutely. When you play that we're, match. We're ready for them. Okay, thank you very much. That's they, Amber Brooks. Thank By you. By the way, uh, Maybe you could make it a little warmer in here. It's <laughs> hey, cold, isn't it? <laughs> it is cold, but it's not as cold as some of these other gyms we have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll tell you a story some other time, but uh, I came back to a holiday tournament after a, a building had been empty for a week yeah. at Brazosport. Oh, yeah. They hadn't turned on the heater. It was 50-something degrees in a in gym. In the gym, yeah. Um, I could see my breath. That was, that was us at Foster. <laughs> yeah. This was, was a cold. boys' tournament, though. That's crazy. That's okay. Crazy. All right. Thank you. Thank have you a good so night. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, that is Amber Brooks, and we're just about done from here in First Colony where the Clements Rangers girls get another win. They beat Pasadena Dobie 25-10, 25-14, 23-25, and 25-16, and they improve to 21-4. District play awaits on the September 13th. They're going to play the Bush Broncos, and they will have a couple of matches uh, with the Ridgepoint Panthers along the way. So... You know, you think of Travis and a uh, little bit of Hightower and Ridgepoint dominating in this district, but maybe it's the Clements Rangers girls' time. All right. I want to say thank you to Rosie Bega 
Suna Venkat, Merle Bertrand, Bob McKay, Patrick Kinnick, everybody who is a part of VipeFortMen.com for being a part of this one. And join us for football coverage Thursday night, Fulcher in Ridgepoint. Friday night, Travis and Katie Jordan. And then on Saturday, Lamar consolidated against Kempner. We are your one and only home for Vipe for uh, Fort Bend County High School Sports, VipeFortBend.com. Good night, everybody, and God bless. <laughs>